In Business Central, it's possible for you to do a purchase invoice without a purchase document. For example, um, in purchasing, you'd normally work from a purchase quote to a purchase order, purchase order to purchase invoice. But in this situation, we're going to go straight to what's called a purchase journal. From a purchase journal here, you can see a document that I've already put together that has, it's an invoice, and it relates to this external document number for this vendor, First Up Consultants. It's for freight, $150. You'll note here that uh, at this stage, if I was to click out of this field, uh, before putting in a balancing account, you'll notice that it's out of balance, okay? And so we're gonna throw in the balancing account there, and we've got some posting groups that would need to fulfill. So we'd say that this is a domestic transaction or retail, and at this stage, that's all that we're needing. From here, I could add a second line, and now I'm gonna make this uh, a second line to a different supplier, and we're gonna say this is for, uh, let's make this, and this is for restocking fee. And uh, that's $500. I'm gonna tab over again, and I'm gonna take the same posting groups. At this stage, this document gives us the ability Obviously, against the line, you can apply dimensions if they're required. Um, you could actually have your dimensions exposed here, like I've got two dimensions just here. Okay, and from this journal, I can take that and look at preview the posting. And from here, you can see there are six GL entries that are created. Okay, um, across the different following the posting groups, you've got the vendor ledger, there's going to be two, GST entry, GST uh, purchase entry, and then the DW vendor ledger entry. Um, let's now go see what this looks like when we post it. Post, yes, and it's done. That's how you create a purchase invoice without using a document. Thank you.